Yes, he did it for me. One day I can tell you of my testimonies, and one day I hope you do the same. Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, say hi YouTube, Manessa. Hi. Say, say what's up, vlog. What's up? What's up, world? Y'all, you won't believe it. Guess who's now requesting me? Hold on. Yes, baby. Say hi, mommy. Hi, hi guys. Guess who is now requesting me to vlog? Manessa is requesting me to vlog. That little girl's right here. Yeah, guess who's not requesting me to vlog? Guess who's requesting me to vlog, guys? Manessa is now asking me to vlog. She's asking me to start vlogging. Jeremiah's asking me to vlog on, t he's telling me to get on TikTok, and Manessa's telling me to get on YouTube, because honestly, guys, I've been vlogging and putting content out, but I don't have nobody here to help me put it together. I don't have nobody, like, put the videos together, so I've been using my hands, even though I have, like, high-quality cameras. I mean, I've been using my hand. I've been using my phone, even though I got high quality cameras. That goes to show you how busy my life is now that I can't really do all that I want to do because of that. But nonetheless, y'all, y'all please help me stay prayed up. I got a lot going on on my side. I don't complain a lot, and I don't even ask you guys to like help me pray. But I genuinely, for my real subscribers, for the people that really rock with me, that know me, please help me pray because there's a lot of things that's going on right now that I am not okay with and I just want God to just do something because I am getting tired okay but nonetheless nonetheless and the number one thing is that my health I want to make sure my health is okay I want to make sure that I'm okay so um I'm starting to exercise my health the other day I went to the hospital because my arm locked up they gave me some medicine to help with that um I think I gotta call the orthopedics again and let them know about my arm locking up because it's hurting right now again you guys it's crazy it's like um the things we got to do to keep our bodies just going but this situation that happened with my arm is that i got into an accident recently and an incident happened and i kind of like try to stop Mommy. some stuff from falling off of me Mommy. and yes baby it's a tree. and in regards to doing that it kind of like you know um it caused my arm to lock up but nonetheless y'all stay keep me prayed up keep me like you know going it's just a lot happening at one time and um yeah i just want to just stay focused on what I, it's like every i've noticed i'm not gonna say every time but i've noticed what it's like when i'm trying to do something productive with my life and i'm trying to be encouraged and i'm trying to you know love on others or do something nice the enemy comes to try to tear me down it's that's not the first time it's not the second time it's always happened like this from my past too when i'm like close to something that i really want the enemy come and just be like, oh, this is what you're building? Bam! And he just knocks it out, the world. He just knocks it out. He makes me feel like I have to start back from the bottom again. And, um, like, when I was younger, my music career, I was doing okay. I was doing, I used to sing. I don't know if you guys know this, but back in the day, I used to do music. And I was a local artist. They used to call me Miss Shy, right? And I was pretty good at it. I was okay. I was, I wasn't, I ain't never had no singing lessons or nothing but i could write some decent songs and i used to like do a lot of local artist stuff and like do a lot of music and so i was doing pretty good i got i got um i, I started working with some celebrity uh producers and stuff like that gold rush i started working with um trick daddy's uh manager like i was doing some big stuff back in the day this is back in 2007 2007 or 8 or something like that I'm not sure I can't remember exactly the dates like 2007 I think or 2007 or 8 I don't know Sierra was really popular at that time she still is I love me some Sierra though um I was doing a lot of local artist music stuff and I was blowing up I was going to shows doing shows at the club and stuff like that I was really shy 
and hence the name Miss Shy. So I was really shy, but I was still up there doing my thing, trying to do my thing. Like, bro, my voice would literally just like, I would be on stage like, like singing, nigga, use a lie, use a cheat, use. I, it's crazy. I used to sing my little songs and stuff, and it was crazy. And I remember one thing my dad used to say, Ruthie, you always making music for the world. Why don't you make music for God? And I used to tell my dad, because my dad was a preacher. So I was like, Daddy, what do you mean? I, my eyes were not open, guys. And I was like, God, what do you mean? I, was, I didn't say God. I said, Dad, what you mean I'm making music for the world? We live in the world. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I couldn't, I didn't understand what he was saying. I, I did not understand what he was saying because I was still sleeping. My spirit, my spirit man was not, was not alive. I wasn't alive. I was asleep. And to, to hear this now, and I talk to my teenagers now, and it's like, um, I talk to the teenagers now, and I'm just like, hey, you know, you got to do stuff for God, not the world. They be like, we're living in the world. What do you mean? So it's, it's crazy because it's like now I'm going through what my dad was telling me, and now I get it. But basically what he means is that the world is like what everybody else wants you to do, like things that's not really going to last. It's like temporary stuff. You get what I'm saying? Things that's not going to like hold really weight and value in the spirit. It's just like, it's just flesh. It's just like, it's temporary. It's superficial. Why don't you do something that's going to last forever? Do it for God and it'll last forever. Anything you do for God is going to last forever because it's written down in the heavens. But things you do in the flesh here on earth, it's not really going to last. It's vapor. You feel me? That's I think that's what he was trying to say because he said it. I didn't say it. But when I say it, I'm thinking like, okay, do something that's going to last in heaven you know, do something that's gonna be for God, of God, that that can last forever. It's gonna show some spiritual continuity versus regular life continuity. Hold on, guys. Guys, you know I'm gonna get a little deep, but anyways, my dad used to always be like, "I'm like, Dad, but look, I got all these songs. I had songs, y'all. I had, I had, but it was like a lot of like, I ain't gonna lie, I had a lot of like, like heartbreaking songs and stuff like that. I never got vocal lessons. I was in choir." at the school i was in music choir at the school but i didn't like the way my vocal coach uh was teaching me how to sing it was like very old schoolish and who like what the heck so i did my own thing i just did whatever i did i used to just sing like you know but i didn't know about vocal you know really getting your vocal cords in touch and stuff like that i was taught by a a um my my at lake Worth. we went to lake Worth high i forgot his name but that vocal, that teacher, the way he taught was just, I don't know. I don't know if anybody could even learn how to sing from him because something wasn't clicking for me. I just was not understanding. But I get it. I guess all his vocal exercises, he was trying to, I remember him going, who, ha, he, ha. I remember him doing all of that. And he was like, ah, all that craziness. But I guess because he didn't explain what the heck he was doing or teaching us, I didn't really find interest in it. And now I understand like, yo. You need to do vocal practices. You need to do vocal warm-ups. All of that is very necessary for your vocal cords so it's not shot. By then, guys, I started. By that time, I was going to party in. By that time, I was already done with my dad. I was, like, straight off of him, straight off his ministry. I had already got my, you know, my stitches on my arm and everything. I was, like, I was done with church. So I had walked away. I was doing my own stuff. So I was going to the clubs and stuff like that. I was chilling with my friends, smoking weed and stuff like that, just chilling and just like you know doing music and with my vocal cords like straight up just killing my vocal cords how you finna go perform and do a song and right after that you drink and you smoke the weed your vocal cords are like yo unless you got like a real person that's with you like doing you know that's really gonna help you maintain your voice and not dry it out you're not gonna be able to sing girl i'm telling my girl just in case the boys watching this y'all i was doing too much i was doing way too much y'all i was doing too much Oh, shoot. I turned the wrong way. Oh, shoot. Don't hit me, parents. Don't hit me, parents. Was I even doing the speed zone? The speed limit? I hope she see me. You see me, right? Okay, thank you. All right. Let me put this little... I have to put a uh, little sticker thing in front of my car to show that I'm a parent so that it can let me in. But anyways, guys, I was doing... I was doing too much. I was out there partying. And then when I started, um... When I started, uh... When I started dancing, I started, um hang with these girls and i'm working two jobs doing music going to the studio and i'm working two jobs doing music and going to the studio and dancing now 
and I quit one of my jobs so I could just dance. And I was still going to the music studio so I can get some tracks down because the producer I was working with too, um, an old school producer, he used to work with people in the 90s. He was working with me too outside of Gold Rush. So I was really, I was really connected, guys. And then I let the haters get in my way like the girls. They started hating on me because they felt like I thought that I was better than them. I'm not going to lie. I had an attitude that I felt like I was better than them because at the time, the stuff that they were doing was freaking ridiculous, okay? It was like, I was judging them straight up, but I didn't understand their story to understand why they were doing what they were doing. But I'll be back, guys. Let me take my baby. I love you. I love you, cake, 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 mm, cake, mm, cake. Mm, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Come, baby. Come, cake, cake. Come, cake. Come, cake, cake. I love you like a fat kid loves cake, okay? Okay. I love it, cake, cake. I love you, Cake Cake. You so happy? I'm happy for you. I'm happy too. I'm so happy that you happy. So we all happy, right? So let's pray. Say, God, you're good. God, you're good. God, you're great. God, you're good. Thank you for, Thank you for the special day. The special day. Bless my school. Bless my school. Bless my teachers. Bless my teachers. Bless my friends. And my friends. Bless my home. Bless my home. My family. My family. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yay, give me five, girl. My cake cake. My cake cake. <laughs> My cake cake. My cake cake. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh no, wait, one more. One more. There's one more. It's already too late. Oh my god. Wow, we just missed the gate. They just locked the gate. Y'all, they just locked the gate. Too late. We were late by two minutes. It's 8.02. My God. Look at that. It's okay, princess. I guess we should have ran to the gate. But once again, y'all, they take a little minute to walk with the kids. See how I'm walking fast with my daughter? They don't walk that fast with her. With the kids. They like, they walk a little slower. Huh? Yeah. I like the fact that they got gates though. That's really cool. All right, so guys, I'll be right back. Let me get my baby in the school. All right, so that was crazy. But nonetheless, we are on the way. I'm not being messy, but I could have sworn she seen us walking towards the gate. Literally, but anyways. Okay, friends and fam, I had to come over here and do a voiceover so I can explain what's going on. So right now, I am currently interpreting a dream for a friend. And yes, I do be interpreting dreams. If you guys have dreams that you guys need interpretation for, please hit me up on my Instagram or my TikTok, wherever you can. All right, the links are down below and I will help you as God will allow me to interpret your dreams. And I think it's a beautiful gift that I have. I love it. And I believe others can have that gift too. I also have dream interpretation rooms on Tuesdays and Thursdays on Clubhouse. I haven't done it recently because I've literally been just trying to get my life together and focus on me and the kids and my husband. So without balance, you know, ministry starts at home. A lot of preachers, I see my dad struggle as a preacher, just going out there, just doing this and that and the most. And his family was struggling. So I try to strive on making sure that I do a balance check all the time with ministry and family because ministry does start at home so right now i'm just cleaning up um folding some laundry and then you guys i am going to meet up with my niece because she called me and said she needed um some personal items so y'all i literally okay i'm gonna show you guys real quick i literally flew i'm talking about i flew my behind over there to the school because it was like 8 45 and school was about to start so i flew over there so I can then start. Okay, so guys, ooh, this thing stink for real. This is this is a tea that I have. This is a hold on. This apple cider vinegar lemon and some honey and i just put it together today um so that's what's going on right now um okay so guys uh quick update as to what's going on hang on hold on mm. 
Okay. I'm trying to lose this weight before our vacation, guys. We got a vacation coming up. And I'm trying to make sure that we are sexy. That I look good. Okay. And I'm starting to think a lot of my vlogs that I've already vlogged, I might not even post them because I felt like it's a new day, it's a new season. And me playing catch up to all my old vlogs is slowing me down for the new vlogs that I have to put out. Oh my God. I know it sucks but I don't think I'm gonna be posting vlogs if it's like super old, unless it's like family event type of stuff, like weddings and stuff like that, that's different. But if it's just like vlogs, regular vlogs, I don't think I'm gonna post them because I have, it takes too long for me to edit. So this one right here, I'm gonna try to edit and get it out by today. Or no, I'm lying, by tomorrow. When Saturday came, Vanessa was playing, it was Saturday and Vanessa was playing, she was doing some type of like certain dances and stuff like that that just wasn't right i was like what the heck is she doing why is she doing these dances so i'm like what she like what she been watching so then she went and got her dolls and she was making her dolls kiss and stuff like that and i was like you know how everything is running in your head all at one time and you're trying to like i'm not you gotta be you, you gotta be a little bit dumb to not put this together a trauma person who's been through this is always going to connect the dots we're going to try to make it connect so i saw what happened and i'm like bro why is my daughter doing all that where's she getting this stuff from and then so it started messing with my mind and that's when i was on tiktok talking about my experience and i needed to talk to somebody and i need to see somebody some people saying i need to go back to therapy some people say i need help i need to see god whatever whatever listen Seeking therapy is great. Yes, I am going to go back to therapy, but this particular situation is not a, a therapy trigger type of moment. My daughter was literally missing for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Even though I was late to pick her up, it does not matter. My husband's like, well, you should have never been late. You're missing the point. The point is that my daughter should never been missing. She used the bathroom. She should have came back to the front. It shouldn't take 10 or 15 minutes for a child to use the bathroom. Now, Now that I've met the staff members and seen the people that they got working with them. You guys, excuse me. I have a long drive. I have to go to court for my little brother. I have a lot of stuff to do, bro. So, y'all see me moving and grooving. I gotta, like, talk as I go. So, all of you will be thinking that um, stay-at-home moms don't be doing nothing. We just be sitting down and just, just don't do nothing. We do a whole lot. We do a whole lot. We do a whole lot. We're constantly on our feet. We do the most sacrifices. We do a lot. Mm, I smell something. You poo poo, JJ? See what I mean? We do a lot. Come, let's change. Let's change. You want some water, JJ? Drink the water. Come on. Did you change the mic? Oh, it's still stinker. It's stinking here. I just had a deja vu. But anyways, so, um, Michael, you want me to tell you what happened in the meeting? Okay, so. So guys, this part right here is just me telling my husband everything that I was telling you guys and more. We also talked about communication and how we also need to uh, find a way for all of us to talk to the young girls in the home about setting up boundaries and setting up restrictions to where they're not showing or watching things that's inappropriate or not age appropriate for the kids because there's little kids here. So we're just talking about steps and things that we're planning on doing to help the situation get better just in case if it's coming from our house, we can clean it up. Or if it's coming from the school, we can definitely narrow down where the extra inappropriate things are coming from for Manessa. So we're nipping it in the bud in our home and we're making sure the school as well is making sure that, you know, that doesn't happen again. So, yeah. And I do notice that a lot of people get triggered when people talk about sexual awareness, awareness or trauma victims or whatever. And this is exactly how you can prevent it is by having 
multiple conversations about this it helps um put people on high alert to know what to look for and how to prevent certain things from happening so i want you guys to know this so um this could be a help to you to talk to your children and your family about setting up boundaries and restrictions so, to protect your child we can't protect them from everything but at least we could start with our house and it'll help um, from there all right so guys that's basically what happened um i am i'm not gonna lie guys i'm tired that's basically my day i've been on full blast this morning this meeting with manessa school and then this morning taking manessa to school no this morning jeremiah waking up early he could not sleep okay so having Man uh dealing with jeremiah at six o'clock this morning taking manessa to school um going to the school for one of my nieces because she forgot her personal items and then having a meeting with a, a dream interpretation meeting and then going to this meeting i'm already on five things down and i have not done a load of laundry or anything in here yet um and now i'm about to get ready to go to court that's number six and then i gotta stop to close that's number seven so guys wish me luck i'm gonna go ahead and try to get ready go take a shower freshen myself up and then go to court to go help out my mom with what she got going on so i will see you guys later Please like, comment, and subscribe now that we know what's going on with Manessa. Um, this is a good thing that we're getting further and what we need to. And like I was telling you guys, I have a feeling like communication is key with these teachers. I'm still keeping my, my like, as I'm thinking about everything, I'm still keeping my eyes alert and everything. Because now I really want to know where she got that whole dancing thing from. The teacher's like, we don't have nobody doing that over there. But just in case, we're going to pay attention to see where she may be getting it from, who she's connected to. Because... We know her mama don't play. And I was like, yeah, I, I really don't play. So now that we know that. So um, also I found out that the Dojo app. Michael, the Dojo app. Make sure you use the code so you can get it for free. Because I didn't know. And they kind of like charged me for it. You hear me? So now I got to re-download the Dojo app. And get it for free. Because how they got me. They was like, there's a code. I was trying to use the code. Anyways, guys. All right, so I got to get this thing together. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm praying to God. Like, I'm still not going to take everything out the window and be like, oh, that's all it was. It's just a misunderstanding. That's what I'm being told for now. But I'm still going to keep my eyes and ears open because I'm still trying to figure out where the heck she got that dancing thing from. So I know kids teach kids that. And they're saying that, that they didn't. The fact that they said that it didn't come from their school that nobody taught anything, anything. One of the teachers said, no, it didn't come from us. But the other teacher said, you know what? I'm going to pay more attention to, to like the kids possibly um, influencing other kids because it just made everything just look super bad. So I'm happy that she's making an effort to understand where I'm coming from that. It may not all be coming from my house. And if it is, I got to now have a talk with the girls to make sure that, hey, if y'all watching y'all little freaky dicky stuff, be mindful. Y'all can't be watching freaky dicky stuff around my dick. Like, I told y'all this before. So, it's just a whole lot of stuff that we got to, like, come through together as one to get through. Because we want to make sure that everybody, you know, that we're fixing these problems. And communication is key. And like I said before, shout out to my husband for making me, like, be reasonable in my thinking and my ways of thinking. And shout out to the teacher, too, that, um, that understood where she was wrong at turning off your walkie talkie while you still have a student is not ethical like we don't what the heck and then now the child comes home all weekend she's pulling us what am i supposed to think like what am i supposed to think like oh yeah everything is okay oh you're tripping go to therapy yeah i get that but yeah but therapy it is uh, if a cat is a cat it's a cat like it, certain things if it look if it's suspect it's sus if it's wrong it's wrong you can't tell people to go to therapy if something is clearly wrong it's wrong and my mommy don't don't ever knock down your mommy instincts okay don't ever knock down your mommy instincts even the teacher herself said no i had a right because she turned off her walkie talkie um before a child was out of her sight and you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to stay in contact at all times when the children are there and she said the whole time it was two of them together they were teaming together and she turned off her walkie talkie because she figured the other one would just use her walkie talkie with the child like school's over it's all good whatever but no the child was still, she went back into the classroom to use the bathroom. So y'all should have had your walkie talkie on. And then from there, she said, and then from there, they came and got her. And I was like, okay, you see, they should have. Yeah. But anyways, guys, I love you. Like, comment, and subscribe. 
you guys thank you for subscribing to my channel you new subscribers i love you guys so much the ones from tiktok thank you because facebook stopped paying me facebook stopped paying me because i shared a a uh, post about the straw being upside down and they said that was face fake news and it's facebook don't want to pay me no more so oh <sighs> so i'm gonna just stick to youtube i'm gonna stick beside it stick to youtube and try to get my stuff up but let me go take a shower i might vlog this i might just take a day off and not vlog because i really want to get this content up and here i am rambling again i love you guys i'll talk to you guys later. Bye -bye.